Hi wrestling fans, thanks for clicking on the Dreaded D. Rose report. I want to do this uh, early, uh, well in the afternoon here today, and I may end up putting a part two on here because i got a bunch of crazy damn news here. Uh, TNA is, I got to watch uh, Royal Rumble just a little while ago and it was, it was alright. There's always boring, and they're running CM Punk way too damn much talking, way too much. Uh, it just about ruined the Royal Rumble part of the match. Uh, TNA's uh, Hulk, Hulk Hogan uh, recently spoke at a uh, CraveOnline.com and talked about uh, when he was working, uh, uh, how, th how he likes working for TNA. He said uh, highlights include uh, Hogan's bragging about uh, having billions of Hulkamaniacs, and, which he always does, and uh, rocky relationship with Ventura. And Ask if he could ever make peace with uh, Jesse, the body Ventura. Now, I didn't know they were at odds with each other, but I know Jesse was supposed to have uh, a main, main event match with him, and this is what I re recall anyway. But he got a, uh, uh, it's like phlebitis or uh, something to do with the lungs, I think, where it's like a, uh, a blood clot. I forgot what to call it now. But anyway, I think he couldn't do it. In fact, he hadn't wrestled since then. But he did have a uh, match lined up for, with Hogan. But anyway, this is what Hogan had to say. I would love to know. I would love to know. He said, I'm dying to find out what made him snap. He says, you know, because I was around when uh, you know we were doing wrestling. And Jesse came to Japan one day, you know, and uh, worked for uh, one or two main events the whole time I was around. He said, I would love to find out what really makes him tick for curiosity reasons. Uh, former uh, diva Stacy Keebler is going to be appearing on tonight's episode of USA uh, Psych. Please make a note of that. Rob Van Dam, he's going to be starring in an upcoming straight to DV uh, action movie called The Wrong Side of Town, or he thought. During an uh, interview with the Between the Ropes radio show, Rob Van Dam uh, accused the studio Lionsgate of taking him off a top billing in favor of his co-star, uh, Batista. Rob uh, was under the impression the whole time that this movie, he was going to be the star, Batista was going to be a supporting character. And he thought, uh, he couldn't believe his eyes when he seen the, the box cover, which I think I showed you guys uh, maybe two or three weeks ago, the cover of the box. But anyway, uh, it's got Batista in the, you know, he's in the foreground, Rob is, and then Batista's out front. Of course, uh, Batista's a better attraction, let's say, than Rob is. And uh, probably Rob's in a lot more than Batista, too. But anyway, uh, he said, I thought it was my movie, the movie was written for me, and there was, uh, for uh, three weeks, filmed in every day, except for one day, and they came out with uh, the DVD box cover, and oh my God, he said, I didn't realize Batista is the star of it. He says sarcastically. Uh, RVD told the action uh, uh, movie uh, was a vehicle to transition to be uh, so where he could become an action star, but now he doesn't even know if the movie will even turn out, uh, how it's going to turn out after being re edited and reworked. He says, I'm completely confused. They said that this was like a vehicle for me to go into other action movies. Yeah, well, Batista is the star, and he's uh, there for two days. All he was there. He said, I feel like Lion Gate pulled the carpet from uh, out from under my feet uh, when I wasn't looking. Hopefully, uh, when you watch it, I'm still in the movie. Wrong Side of Town, by the way, is going to be released on DVD February 23rd. Don't worry about RVD. Batista doesn't act good, but you don't on uh, wrestling. It'll be all right. Bret Hart made the following comments uh, on Facebook regarding his WWE upcoming Hart DVD. He said, it's been uh, especially rewarding watching the rough cut of the Hart family DVD coming out uh, by WWE this April with candid interviews from several of my sisters and brothers who uh, offer interesting prospectives. Uh, on things uh, that I didn't even know about. He said this uh, video uh, uh, has a lot of clips from the old, you know, Stampede Wrestling uh, in black and white and color, along with some rare family photos, personal interviews during, uh, behind the brothers and sisters, bringing back memories and images from the Hart House family to dinners. 
uh, the dungeon and Victoria Pavilion, and even uh, Clearwater Beach. It says this April, I'll uh, be proud to put this DVD next to my favorites in my collection. Brett said. WWE announced uh, last night ECW's on uh, that uh, last night's ECW that this Friday SmackDown they will be showing footage. Uh, of what happened between Batista and John Cena after this week's Raw. Uh, you know, the cameras went off when Cena came out and made the save for uh, Brett. That was weird how they put that. Anyway, dark match for uh, last night's SmackDown taping in uh, Tennessee, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, saw um, Undertaker defeat Batista in a match that they saw run-ins from Chris Jericho, Matt Hardy, Rey Mysterio, and CM Punk. Hurricane Helms worked last night's ECW uh, in an interview with Real William Regal and Ezekiel Jackson that they saw him get beat down. Helms' uh, inc incident uh, of last week was brought up in the opening segment of ECW with his mugshot uh, photo and was shown on the big screen. Several references to Helms' arrest were uh, made throughout the show, but uh, there was never a mention of uh, what actually was uh, uh, the charges were or didn't mention anything about Chris Jericho. Odd. Steve Wilson, uh, he wrote a, or sent this uh, word in that uh, there was a wrestling company out of Scotland called NXT or NXT Generation. Uh, the same name WWE is going to be using on Sci-Fi on Tuesday nights. The company's been around since uh, 2008 with regular shows, and they have their own wrestling school and DVDs. So ECW is changing to NXT, which is Next Generation, uh, which is going to be uh, highlighting you know the new wrestlers trying to work their way up the line, which I think is a great idea. I thought ECW was kind of doing that there towards the last anyway. WWE Maria will be appearing at the World Wheels Foot Show if you're in Birmingham, Alabama on Friday, February 12th, beginning at 7 o'clock. I'd like to drive over there myself. Former WWE uh, Diva China, remember her? Is set to be inducted into the new Anoki Federation Hall of Fame October t uh, 2010 for her work with New Japan uh, Wrestling. Uh, China will be inducted to the 2010 class of uh, uh, Thunder Liger and uh, you know a bunch of others this year. I guess it's going to be going on over there. Mickey James revealed in a recent chat on WWE's website that her uh, that the name of her first single that's uh, supposed to, you can't say it's a hit yet. It's not even out. Are you with me? That's the name of it. Mickey's album is going to be coming out March 23rd. There's going to be a CD uh, release party that night in Phoenix, Arizona. Not Beth Phoenix, but Phoenix. Although Vince McMahon's announcement Tuesday was uh, kind of vague, one key detail came clear in three weeks. ECW will cease its run and be replaced uh, in the time slot with the uh, next evolution. So it's not next generation, next evolution. Uh, of, uh, well, maybe he's just calling it that, next evolution of WWE product. Uh, uh, PWI Insider reports that the new show, which will focus on younger wrestlers, will be called WWE uh, NXT. Uh, this is not confirmed specifically uh, because uh, it kind of fits what McMahon's cryptic words were, but you still may get sued, Vince, by the place uh, overseas. Plans to drop ECW moniker, uh, especially since the current product is no way resembles the extreme uh, nature of the brand uh, had been in development for several months. The show's poor ratings have become a, a, an area of concern for WWE and sci-fi and in hopes the rebranding it could breathe life into the product which a lot of times they promise uh, advertisers on there, hey, we reach X amount of households, we do this kind of ratings and if you're not doing it, they, uh, you either got to give them some discounts or you got to boost your rating up to where the advertisers are getting into more households and I'm about out of time. So, uh, hey, I'll be back on here probably with part two later today. Thanks for clicking. I gotta go.